Hello everybody, Lobo Frick here. And today I'm at Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're taking a look here at these pillars that are on the south end of the Las Vegas Strip. As you can see, we're right across from Mandalay Bay. It's the Las Vegas Strip here. And this road right here is Mandalay Bay Road. And we're taking a look at this land here. And these pillars. And these pillars were... Uh, the start of what was going to be a huge project that was announced in 2011 and that project was going to be the, this project was going to be the Skyview uh, Las Vegas Super Wheel uh, which was going to be a large Ferris wheel uh, it was going to be 500 foot tall it would have a total of 40 gondolas on it uh, which would carry up to 25 people uh, per gondola but what most people don't remember or never knew was this was only phase one of a project uh, for this piece of land right here. Uh, this piece of land was uh, advertised as 38 and a half acres of land. And the Skyview Ferris Wheel was going to be the very first uh, phase of the project. And then the next phase was going to be a project they were going to build around. It was going to be called London, Las Vegas. And London, Las Vegas was going to have replicas of various British landmarks, uh, restaurants, and shops at it. And uh, the project just... Well, you see the project. That's, that's as far as they got right here, uh, was building the pillars. It's like to hold the Ferris wheel up. So what happened to this project, and how did it not get to uh, the point of where it proceeded on? What got me interested in this project and revisiting it was uh, they have put up a sign that says this land is now for sale. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But in 2011, it's like uh, they, as you see, they dug the ground out here. And you see the whole piece of land here. Like I said, it was advertised at 35 and a, or 38 and a half acres. And the Phase one was going to be the Skyview Ferris wheel, and it had gone through a couple of changes. That I was supposed to be 500 feet tall and have 40 gondolas in it. They actually had scaled that back to where there was only going to be 32 gondolas uh, when when the project was uh, got off the ground. But the gondolas would be the same size; it would hold about 20 to 25 people. And then it's like you know, there was going to be phase one, and then phase two was going to be London, Las Vegas, uh, which would uh, replicate it's like a lot of the landmarks and restaurants and shops of, of London. That project was going to have 1,300 hotel rooms, and it would have 550,000 550, square feet of restaurant and shops in it. It also was proposed to have the largest LED screen. It's like in the world was going to be built right here. It's as part of this project also, uh, which they would be able to sell advertising or, or any special events they might have inside the project or inside the uh, uh, London, Las Vegas uh, area. They could actually advertise and broadcast it over the LED screen. This project was approved in 2011 it's like by the county commissioners and uh, they were ready to go and it's like and at that time it's like they were talked about phase one of this Ferris wheel uh, the Ferris wheel would be ready to go by New Year's Eve 2012 and it's, they built the pillars and they built this the, uh, the little holding pods here it's like you can see for the uh, for the gondola ride and then construction kind of slowed down quite a bit and uh, basically they came back on and said it's like the project was going to be delayed a little bit and you were looking at probably uh, about New Year's Eve 2012 is what they were looking at uh, as an opening date originally and then they pushed it back a year was talking about New Year's Eve 2013. And as you can see, 
it's like not much happened. It's like from that time, as this is kind of the way it sat here for a while, and then it's like on, uh, an announcement came out. Uh, they had some new investors came in. A gentleman by the name of Wayne Perry had started investing uh, money into the project. We'll talk about him in a little bit also. And uh, they so they were looking at an opening day that for the first will anyway of uh, Independence Day, July the 4th, 2013, was going to be the new day that it was going to open. And then delays kept happening and kept happening. And it's like uh, it ended up where they came up with a new date where they were talking about construction was going to be finished by mid-2015. And that was announced roughly it's like it did about the end of 2013 when they were talking about 2015 being the opening day for this project it ended up where it's like uh, January of 2014 uh, these pillars and stuff has scaffolding all around them it's like you know to uh, put up the ferris wheel and everything 2014 January the scaffolding disappeared from the project and any construction equipment that they had here disappeared from the project also uh, which kind of told you that uh, this project uh, was not going to proceed anytime really soon in November 2015 the project was put up for sale and it eventually sold the land sold and everything and then it was like the property went through bankruptcy and in 2020 it was bought out of bankruptcy by Wayne Perry. Wayne Perry as you know was like was the investor that I talked about that had put money into the project way back in 2012. Well it got me interested here because the new sign went up and says that the price that this uh, property is now for sale again and with the prices that uh, strip properties been getting it's like I don't blame them one bit it's uh this is realistically uh you know one of the last big pieces of land that's available here on the Las Vegas Strip and uh just to have this piece of land it's like in the project that you'll be able to put on it uh would be pretty amazing So that's the story, that's kind of the history of this uh, Skyview Las Vegas Super Wheel. That's what this was for, that's what was going to be built. Uh, so uh, the failure of that not being done, also it's like the failure of the London Las Vegas never became a reality. And uh, this is uh, how the land sat it's like since... Uh, the construction kind of got started and ended at this point in 2012 10 years ago so we'll see who buys the land we'll see who buys the property and hopefully uh, uh, they'll be able to develop it into something pretty amazing here for the Las Vegas Strip I did want to point out one other thing also it's like uh, throughout the years uh, for the time it's like the high roller was built it's like uh, you know in the link promenade property in between the link and, and the Flamingo Hilton for the Flamingo Hotel. There was also a proposal for a third wheel that most people may not have, may or may not have known about. It was going to be called Voyager. And uh, Voyager was talked about on and off for years and never, never got off the ground. Uh, that was a project where land was never bought for and never talked about. But, uh, uh, but there, yeah, there was going to be a third believe it or not Ferris wheel in Las Vegas or there could have been anyway and that project was called the Voyager project anyway thank you very much for joining me I'm Lone Wolf Rick it's like if you're new to the channel hit this uh, subscribe button we'd greatly appreciate that hit the notification bell and that'll keep you in the loop of everything we got going on here also uh, uh, everybody who watches the video to my subscribers thank you very very much for your support hit that thumbs up button it's like it lets me know that you care all right, everybody, take care of yourself, stay healthy, and then we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.